Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Holla Beck, and today is the 26th of December, so we only have a week until the new year. For those of you who are new to my channel, at the very beginning of 2018, I created a list of goals that I want to try and have completed by the end of this year. So today, I thought I would go through that list with you guys, and we would see what all I was able to accomplish. So I had a total of 11 goals that I want to try and have done, and of those 11 goals, there were only three that I wasn't really able to accomplish. Two of those three were actually very large goals, and I think I was a bit too ambitious. So let's go over those three first. The first one was to finish episode one of my animation. So, for those of you who do not know, I think most of you do now, one of my hobbies is animation, and it is one of many, so it's kind of one of those things that I pick up and drop very often, and I really don't have any good excuse why I don't have the first episode done. I've been working on it for like three years, and quite honestly, it's just laziness. I was incredibly lazy, and I just didn't get it done, plain and simple. <laughs> The second item on my list is purely just timing, and it was buy a passport. Now I had no intentions of actually traveling out of country at all this year, but I wanted to at least have the passport in hand. They're good for 10 years, I wanted to have it and be ready for when the time was right and we could go overseas or something fun. Now that probably won't even happen next year either, but we do have plans in the very near future to get our passports. You'll hear about my plans in my 2019 goals. But for now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to cross it off this year's goals. And the third goal that I wasn't able to accomplish this year was the biggest and very overambitious. <laughs> And that was to fly to California to see the sequoia trees, which has been my dream for a while now. And it will happen one day, but unfortunately this year was just not the year. When I do it, I want to do it right. I don't want it to be a quick, meaningless trip. We go, we see them, and we leave. So that seemed to be the tough part, is we just couldn't swing a full week off to go and do something like that. And of course money was also an issue as well. But overall, of the three goals, that I wasn't able to do, I am very pleased that I was still able to do the other eight. So I figured let's talk about those ones, because that's what I'm very proud of. <laughs> so the very first goal that I accomplished, I'm technically counting it even though I didn't really achieve it, and that was to lose 20 pounds by my birthday, which was April 1st. Now, I didn't actually do that, but overall through the year, I lost 30 pounds. Some of you know, most of you probably know, that I started the keto diet in May, and within like no time at all, I lost like 20 pounds. And I continued after I did my vlog videos and lost an additional 10 pounds. And overall, I'm very pleased with my weight loss this year. So, even though I didn't technically get this goal, I'm still counting that as a win, okay? <laughs> Next on my list was to complete Christmas shopping by November. And I'm very pleased to have done this. It was towards the end of November that I got it done, but it happened, They're, they were all wrapped and I was very pleased with how quickly we ended up doing everything. We got our tree up right away, Jordan got the lights up around the apartment very quickly. <laughs> so I'm very happy to say we achieved that one. Next was to take a trip for our anniversary, and this year we decided to go to Chicago, and it was so much fun, guys. I vlogged all four days that we were there, um, I'll go ahead and link them down below, but it was so much fun. It was, I love Chicago, it is one of my favorite cities, so I was very pleased that we got to do that. The next thing on my list was to buy a new gaming setup, and I kind of altered it a little bit and said laptop, because an entire gaming setup, what I'm looking for, it would be unreasonable. <laughs> With everything else that we had going on this year, it just, it, w it was too much. So, I did end up buying a new laptop. I talked about it a little bit in one of my flashback videos. It is an HP 7 and it is perfect for what I need it for. I can do some gaming on it, but primarily I wanted something that I could edit videos on and it is perfect for that. Along with that last goal, I also wanted to buy a new filming camera and I did that as well, which I'm filming myself on right now. It is so much nicer than the one I had before. It autofocuses, which is a huge one. It has a flip up screen so I can see myself as I'm talking to you guys, which is incredibly handy. So I'm very pleased with my purchase and very happy to cross that goal off my list. The next goal for 2018 was to color my hair, which you can already see my roots. That's how long it's been since I've colored it. <laughs> 
I want all this thing this camera can do, but it can't save a girl who doesn't know how to charge her freaking battery. <laughs> all right, we're back. And I was talking about my hair color. So I wanted to go a platinum blonde. She didn't quite get what I wanted, but that's okay because there are so many years ahead of me for me to get the color that I want. I was just happy. It was the first time that I had ever dyed my hair. It was one of the reasons why it was a goal this year to color my hair. And uh, it was an overall satisfying experience. Another goal that I had on my list was to ride the Badger for the 4th of July, which again was another trip that I vlogged and I will link that down below as well in case you haven't seen it and would like to. It was a beautiful experience. I had so much fun. I know Jordan had a lot of fun as well. It was a very neat experience that I'm very glad that we got to have. The fireworks on the water were absolutely stunning and I would definitely do it again. Maybe not next year, but probably in the next few years, I would definitely do this again. And the very last thing that I had on my list this year was to find a family doctor, an eye doctor, and a dentist, which we kind of scooted in at the last minute and got it all set up at the beginning of December, but I'm very glad we did. It was a long time coming. You know, it had been a year since we moved here and got insurance and it was just one of those things that was always on the back of our mind like we need to do this we need to get it done and we finally did i'm very pleased because when i went in for my new patient appointment she took blood work of course and checked all of my important bits and i was very pleased to see that everything was the way it should be the only thing that she said was my vitamin d was a bit deficient but i guess that makes sense because i never go outside if i can help it and I'm very angry at myself for telling you guys that because you're going to have way too much fun with it. <laughs> Alright guys, but that was all the goals that I'd set for myself for 2018. I'm actually pretty proud that I accomplished what I did. I've already been thinking of what I want to achieve for 2019. So, probably next week you will see my new goals. But until then... <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already because honestly, it would just be so wonderful. It would make me so happy. I will say, out of 2018, I was very pleased to see my subscriber count double, which when you're talking small numbers isn't really a lot, but to me, it was. And I know a lot of you are my keto folks and I'm very happy that you're here. I'm so happy that you decide to stick around. And honestly, I, it would be very swell if you're not subscribed already for you to become part of our mismatched group of people. Some of it's family, some of it's keto lovers. Maybe I have a couple back from when I did gaming. <laughs> Who knows, but I'm glad you're here and I hope you stay. And that being said guys, I will see you the next time around. Oh my gosh, I will see you next year. <laughs>